Welcome to Let's Talk Investing, a co-production of the Globe and Mail and the Investor Education Fund. I'm Rob Carrick, personal finance columnist at the Globe and Mail, and with me is Glenn Lacoste. Glenn is president of Service Score, a financial data research firm. Glenn, let's talk about the benefits of online investing. Let's assume I have the knowledge and the inclination to handle my own investments. What benefits will I get by investing online? The main benefit you get investing online is you get to go at your pace, learn your, your information on your own. Uh, probably the main investment objective when you're on your own, though, is to, to know what your activity is. So what that means is that your benefit is that if you know that you're not a very active trader and you're going to need time to learn, you don't get pressured situations by a broker to make you go fast. You can read at night. You can 24-7 uh, access. Uh, the, maybe the disadvantage to that, though, is that you really are on your own and that you're going to have to keep tabs on your own information and learn. But aren't there a lot of research tools available through online brokers to sort of help me make? There's model portfolios, if I'm not mistaken, and tools for, um, for helping people make decisions? Yeah, I would say there's a, research is one of the things that keeps growing every year in our analysis. Every year there's new research tools. Probably the best research tool for, a, let's say, a rookie investor would be some of the consensus uh, analyst reports that come out. So if you were to look at financial data for a TD Bank, for instance, it would be pretty daunting task when you look at all the tabs that are available online, except that you could go off to the right and look at it says, okay, 15 out of the last 20 uh, analysts on average recommend this stock as a hold or as a buy. Uh, those are some of those tools. Some of the alerting tools are very important these days because they allow you to be told when your triggers hit, etc. Tell me about how much less I might pay if I invest for myself? Those could be an average trade of maybe a thousand shares or 500 shares. You could you could save yourselves you know hundreds of dollars on a fee versus a full full service broker. What about admin fees and that sort of thing? Admin fees relatively uh, they're lower, but they're not as low as let's say the online firms are not going to you're not going to get waive all those for you. You're still going to have your admin fees on your RSPs. It just you won't have the high admin fees that you'll have at the online broker. So to sum up, you don't have someone telling you what to do, but if you know what you're going to do, you can do it whenever you want and you can pay less. Absolutely. Thanks, Glenn. You're welcome.